day in the life of a security control assessor. So. A day in the life of a security control assessor. So a security control assessor is one who performs uh, security testing and examining and interviews when it comes to cybersecurity organizations, policies, procedures, uh, documents, and things of that nature. So a security control assessor um, will be hired either independently um, by a contract company so a security control assessor's daily duties so a security control assessor could start up the day by looking at uh, their email checking their emails to see if there are any meetings uh, checking their calendar to see if there's any meetings uh, uh, checking their email to see if there's any questions by the system owner or the system owner's team. Um, the security control assessor's daily day-to-day uh, -day activity would be going to a meeting. So uh, it typically would start off with a kickoff meeting or a stand-up meeting where the security control assessor will go over statuses. Um, so saying these are the controls that I'm working on, or these are the controls I worked on last week. These are the controls I'm working on this week. Uh, and I expect to uh, send out reports. I expect to uh, schedule a meeting with the system owner to explain um, the types of screenshots to uh, receive, or I intend to uh, set up a meeting or a working session with the project team to discuss uh, the assessment uh, and then close out the meeting by listing any risk, any issues um, that might uh, come about. Then uh, the other thing the security control assessor could do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis is review evidence. So you're reviewing the screenshots, you're reviewing the policies and procedures for that organization. Uh, you're looking at the security um, system, a uh, system security plan, the SSP, or sometimes called the security plan. Um, this would be something you would look at to see the implementation description to see if the project team, your client, is meeting the control language. So if the control is asking them to do X, Y, Z, and in their implementation description, they say they're only doing X, Y, then there's an issue there. So you're looking at these implementation descriptions to see how they implemented those security controls. The other thing you could do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis would be to uh, record your observations. So you're recording your observations either in your, te your uh, test Excel spreadsheet or you're recording your observations within your GRC tool. The GRC tool could be Exacta, CSAM, EMAS, Archer, so there's so many GRC tools out there, and there are some proprietary GRC tools. And so the other thing you could do um, at, on your day-to-day -day activities as a security control assessor is obviously perform security control assessment. So, Performing your security control assessments will involve you um, examining these documents or artifacts, as they're called, um, looking at uh, these things to look for errors or things that don't uh, meet up compliance-wise. Then you could also interview, interview POC points of contact that um, are parties that were listed on the policies or procedures to verify if uh, they are the right parties, one, and to verify procedures if they are current and if, in fact, that procedure is still valid. 
The other thing you could do as a security control assessor is test. So you could test um, security controls by trying to log on to a system to see if um, it's doing what it's supposed to do and things of that nature. Um, the other thing you could do on your day-to-day -day as a security control assessor is uh, develop a security assessment plan. So your assessment plan entails the plan that you, you're going to carry out to uh, perform the assessment. So it's going to list all the um, controls in there, the schedule and, and other things um, um, as it relates to the assessment. Other, another thing you could do as a security control assessor on your day-to-day -day would be um, writing up or developing a security um, assessment report. So this would be at the end of your assessment, you're going to develop that um, assessment report, you're going to schedule a meeting, you're going to brief the system owner and the system owner's team on the controls that failed and how they could remediate those failed controls. Um, another thing you could do as a security control assessor on your day-to-day -day is provide um, gaps. So provide, uh, send your client an email saying, hey, these are the gaps in evidence. So I need X, Y, Z. I need evidence for AC3. I need evidence for uh, SD4, you know, so you're going to ask them for evidence. Um, so that's just in a nutshell some of the day to day activities uh, of a security control assessor. Sometimes this question could come up during an interview and you walk me through your day to day activities as a security control assessor. So you need to be familiar with what a security control assessor does on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope you found this information valuable and informative. Like and subscribe and grow our channel. Thanks. I have a cybersecurity course called the Security Control Assessor course. This course trains you on how to become a security control assessor, also known as an SCA or a SCA. Now with this training, it's going to show you step-by-step step on the job training, what a security control assessor does, how the security control assessor prepares for an assessment. If you don't know who a security control assessor is, a security control assessor is one who assesses security controls. Security controls are things or measures that you put in place to reduce risk to an acceptable level. So this training will show you the ins and outs on how to become a uh, SCA. It also comes with a certificate of completion, um, resume, pr resume prep videos, uh, interview prep videos. It also comes with tons of resources, templates that you would use on the job. So if you are considering a career change or a field within cybersecurity that requires no technical skills and it's only about the compliance side of cybersecurity, which deals with policies, procedures, and things of that nature. As a security control assessor, you are going to be looking at documentation, reviewing documentation, and writing your comments saying, hey, this passes, this fails, this is not right, uh, this is correct. Uh, so that's pretty much what a security control assessor does. You look at evidence and you determine if the evidence is satisfactory or not. And you have a cheat sheet with you to um, use as your guide. So for more information, sign up for this course and I promise you, you will not regret it.